All right, so The Woman King has hit theaters and is blowing up the spot. It's, 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 it's apparently a great sensation. And I know on my Facebook page, we had some pretty rich conversation uh, about the movie, uh, just around the historical accuracy of it, you know? And um, I could tell by the kinds of responses that I was getting from my posts on the subject that this is gonna be a, 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 an interesting series of conversations. It's gonna spark a lot of good conversation. Hopefully, you know, if people can be clear-minded and, and focused, I think we're gonna be able to generate a lot of good conversation. Because on one hand, we have the, the way I understand the, the film, um, it is being billed as um, a black female empowerment film, right? And so um, based on that, obviously if, if anyone had a criticism of it or, or some kind of a problem with the film, then of course that's gonna be difficult because people are gonna be jump, quick to jump to the conclusion that, oh, well, you're against the film, so you must be against black female empowerment, right? Which is erroneous, it's, that's a fallacy, but that's gonna be the, you know, the trigger that will make the conversation disintegrate. Um, <clears throat> likewise, there is the historical accuracy of the film, right? It's, it's not a documentary, and so people are gonna say, well, um, it doesn't have to be accurate, it's, it's a movie. And so there's a certain amount of creative freedom that we are gonna have to allow the directors, or the writers, right? Which is kind of true, which is kind of true, um, but it's a thin line, you know, <clears throat> um, particularly because of the history that we're talking about. Now, the, 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 the difficult point of this film, of the, of, the, of the subject of the film, is going to be the fact that the Agosi or the Agoji or the Ahosi I think I've seen it written those ways, um, but I know them most commonly as Ahosi or Ahosie, something like that. Um, they, 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 the, who we know as the Amazons in the West, they were definitely involved with the enslavement of our people. You, it's undeniable that that's, that was a major part of their function in the, in the Dahomean army, you know, and so, you know, I haven't seen the film and I'm sure that's not what the film is about. Um, and and I'm, I'm sure they're gonna do a great job to develop the character and it's gonna be well-directed and well-written and all that. Uh, so, you know, the story is gonna be compelling one way or the other, but uh, I do think that for us, it's a good opportunity to get more familiar with the history get a better understanding of the complexity of, of our identities. It, um, because to be completely honest, uh, uh, the Maroons, as, as almost a general, as a you know standard practice across the Americas, the Maroons were involved with catching people who escaped, right? That would be, that would be a, a, requ a requirement of the treaty that, hey, the, the Europeans would sign a treaty with the, with the Maroons and say that they had to capture uh, Africans who ran, right? So one of the conditions is that, hey, if anybody, after we sign this treaty, anybody who escapes the, the plantation and, and tries to run to your society, you'll send them back. Or you will help us, you know, patrol the forests and capture people and send them back to the plantation. That was a requirement of, of the Maroons. So, you know, it's, it's, it, this is what happens when you get compromised. And someone else is making the rules for you and you have to operate at their behest, you know, and according to their agenda. And um, although we would like to find some simple, simple categories for each other, either they're good guys or they're bad guys, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, they're, they're either true to the game or they're sellouts. In reality, once you're compromised and you live behind enemy lines, it, it's, you know, everybody it's sold out to a degree. If you have a job, you know, you're working on someone else's time, you're working according to someone else's agenda, you just have to accept that. But since so I think that 
the movie is is a great opportunity for us to explore the complexities of African identity in the diaspora and on the continent. What were the different roles? What happens? Really, this is the, the, the real opportunity. What actually happens when you are compromised, right? What what's the what 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 what's the the, the price you pay? Because that's going to tell you the real value of freedom and the real value of having integrity and the real value of sticking to your uh, your community, your people, and defending the rights and the, and, the, and the sovereignty of your people. Because when you don't, these are the kinds of things that happen when you lose. So don't lose. So I, I hope that the, 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 the movie sparks that kind of conversation for us. We don't need to lose anymore. If we continue to lose, then we will continue to be compromised. The Ahosi are just one example. And we can see that pattern play out even up into contemporary times. There's somebody playing the exact same kind of role where it's complicated and they can't just neatly say that they're on this side or that side because the obligations of their job just require them to do things that are not necessarily in our favor, right? And so I hope that we have to start that part of the conversation and get deeper into the nuances of what it means to be uh, a person of African descent um, in the contemporary times. So if you saw the movie uh, and, and um, you um, want to say something about that, you know, I'd love to hear your comments about what the, what the movie reveals about the complexities of African identity. So let me know what you think and um, in the in the in the comments without any spoilers. And uh, I look forward to a rich conversation. I'm going to see the movie and then I'll tell you my position once I have. But right now, I just got too many irons in the fire, but I'm going to check it out. and I'll let you know what you think, what I think. So until then, stay blessed and I'll talk soon. Bye for now. Odabo.